Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to stop laptop from using too much of data on Windows 11. How you can fix high data consumption both on laptop and both on your PC. I will be explaining few steps that you need to apply one by one and after that you will find a great change and you would be able to save a lot of data. The very first thing that you have to do is you need to enable the metered connection for your network. How you have to do? On your Windows 11, just make a right click on the Windows icon and from the suggestion choose settings. Now in the setting from the left in menu option, click on network and internet. And now here you have to look for the connection for which you want to enable. So if you are connected with Ethernet, you have to go with Ethernet. Or if you are using Wi-Fi or mobile hotspot connected with your mobile data, then you have to choose that option. So let's say if I want to go with Ethernet, I click on it and here you will find metered connection. So by default, this feature will be disabled. And if you read here, it says some apps might work differently to reduce data usage when you are connected to this network. So what you have to do, you just need to enable this option. And once you are done, close it. Now in the next setting, you have to disable the background apps. Keep in mind that these background app run in the background. They take a lot of bandwidth sometime because of the update and sometime because they are running in the background. So just it's better to just turn it off so that they should not occupy a bandwidth from your network. Again, right click on the Windows icon and choose settings. Now from the left hand menu, click on apps, then click on apps and features. Now here you will see all the apps installed on your computer. So this can be like calculator, camera. Now many times, many people do not use it like camera. I believe if you're using a PC, then you don't use it. Again, if you come down, if you don't use Cortana, it occupies a lot of bandwidth. So what you have to do on the very right of it, you will see the three dot, click on it, go to advanced options. And here you will see background app permissions. So click on the drop down and choose it to never. Again, go back and look for the other applications, whichever you want to disable. Let's say I don't want to use get help, so I can disable that as well. Then you have mail and calendar. If you do not use mail and calendar, that is a default feature of Windows. Then again, click on the three dot, choose advanced option, scroll down where it says background app permission, click on the drop down and choose to never. The same you have to do with every application that you do not use because they run in the background and occupy a lot of bandwidth. Once you are done, you can close it and now we have to disable few services that run in the background and that take a lot of bandwidth usage and the very important one is the update one that is Windows Update. On your search box of Windows 11, click on it and type services and from the suggestion choose services app once the services app comes up here you have to look for windows update so just scroll down till you find windows update here it is just double click on it now you have to in the startup type you have to choose disable then click on stop so make sure the status is stopped and the startup type has been set to disabled. Once you are done, click on apply, then click on OK. And now you have to disable another uh, service that named by background intelligent transfer. So you can go up and here you will find background intelligent transfer service. Double click on it. Again in the startup type, choose disable. It's already been stopped. So I will click on apply and then click on OK. Now once you are done, we also need to disable the auto update from the Microsoft Store. So all the app that you have downloaded from the store that mostly goes to auto update and it keep updating in the background and occupy a lot of bandwidth. So click on the search box, type here store. From the suggestion, choose Microsoft Store. So now once it comes up, on the very right in top, you will see your profile picture. Just click on it and then choose app settings. 
So at the very top you will find app update so you can see update apps automatically and it has been enabled so you just need to disable this option just disable it and once disable now kindly restart your pc just disconnect your connection and reconnect it and after that you will see that the high consumption from your laptop data usage will be fixed and if this worked for you guys please do not forget to like the video please subscribe to the channel for more related videos in the future and i will see you in the next video bye bye